I'm not going to be to my life and my business my pastor and I said to my pastor that I heard everybody knew special places. And I just thank God for everything. But um, my song is um, Still Willing to Go. I'm not going to sing it because I don't know her song, but that's the, the um, song. Um, it's kind of ironic that my sermon is being picked right after offering. Because it kind of has to do with offering. Amen, amen. amen. That's, that's God, I guess. My sermon title is um, "Where Have You Laid Your Treasures?" And my first scripture I'm gonna be coming from is Job 39. Job 39. <laughs> 11 to 12. Yes. Yes. Job. Job. And it reads, Without trust him because his strength is great, or will thou leave thy labor to him? Will thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather it into thy barn? You may be seated. Um, with that being read, it comes to my sub-topic, and it's um, just a question that I want everybody to think about while I read my sermon. Okay. Is, um, just to ask yourself, will you trust him to provide for you? Amen. Amen. Um, the second scripture I'm going to be coming from is Matthew 6, um, 19 through 24. 19 through 24. Amen. And it reads, Lay not up for your... Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust dogs corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for your, for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust nor dust nor, nor corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasures is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in the darkness, how great is that, is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, uh-huh. or he will hold to the one and despise the other. You yeah. cannot serve God and man. Amen. Amen. Uh, these scriptures to me when it talks about laying your treasures down, it's not only talking about money. Um, treasures could be anything, it could be your money, it could be your family, it could be material things, but most of it, it is talking about money. And um, in the passage and the scriptures, it's just God letting us know that it's pointless to hold on to things, to hold on to your money, to your treasures. It's pointless because you can't take them with you. And they could be the reason why you don't make it into heaven. Uh-oh. It's the reason why you make it into hell. Come on, Joe, Joe. Uh-oh. You can't take them to hell either. You can't nope. take them to heaven or to hell. Amen. So you really write where you're going to go. True. You Amen. make your promise place written. So if you're holding on to these treasures, if it's being money, you can't buy your way into heaven no matter how much money you have. There's no way that you can buy your way into heaven. Even if you give your money, you still can't buy your way into heaven. There's other ways you have to go with giving an offering and giving tithes. There's other ways that you have to live, too. That's not going to buy your way into heaven, either. Amen. 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 People say, like, I'm not going to give an offering because I don't know. Um, Where is it going? <laughs> <laughs> people, people say I'm not giving an offering because I don't know what the church or what people are going to do with the offering. But if God takes you and you walk out that church, what you going to do with the offering that you know in your pocket? Oh, oh, God take you right, right when you walk out the church. Uh-oh. The building fall and He take you. Now you got the money in your pocket. It can't help nobody. Uh-oh. So what you going to do with it? What you going right. to do with it? All right. Go, uh, yo, yo. <laughs> the next scripture I'm going to come from is Matthew 19, 23 to 24. And it reads, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Maybe I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Mm. Not gonna happen. Come on now. Not gonna happen. Like I said, you can't buy your way into heaven. No, so you can't. Hold on to everything that you got, whether it be pretty much all your treasures, whether it be your money and you put in your money before God, or whether it be your family, you put in your family before God, or all your material things. No matter how rich you feel with your spirit, with your mind, or financially, you won't enter into heaven. So mm -hmm. you got to make sure that you're not let, letting these things fly you. And that's right. And not letting these things fool you. That's right. You because that's what the devil wants to do. He wants that's to right. you and Teach tell you there's other ways you can spend your money or it's other ways that you can have this church. Other ways for you to keep your family from church. Or it's Sundays or it's other ways for you to find stuff for your family to do. Whether it be like, oh... Let's go to hometown buffet. Go to church hours or something. And your whole family go to hometown buffet. Mm. All the way to hometown buffet, a car accident happens. Uh -oh. You lose your whole family. And then with those treasures, they're gone. Because you didn't give them to God. You found another reason, another way to keep these treasures for yourself, which is very selfishness. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. 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 Um, but... I'm not standing here telling you to give, 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 and give all your treasures to God because that's not the way to make it into heaven. It's not the only way. Like I said, you got to give more. You got to give answers. You got to give faith. You got to have trust. You got to believe. So that's not the only way to make it into heaven. But however, if your heart is made of steel and it consists of selfishness and only self, you can't make it. You won't make it either. So you do need to give. Um, my next is going to be from 2 Corinthians 13, 11, and it says, Finally, brothers, farewell, be perfect, be of good comfort, be of, be of one mind, live in peace, and the good of love, and peace shall be with you. With that being said, uh, that answers the question, so where do you, where would your treasures, where are your treasures laid, and where... Who, who are you going to trust to provide for you? Because when you lay your treasures, you lay your heart. Because you love your treasures so much uh -huh. that your heart is there. So no matter where you lay your treasures or where you put your treasures, your heart is there. And you got to make sure you're not laying your heart in the wrong place. Amen. Um, so and to also answer the question, who will provide for you? Um, you should have been thinking that it should have been the Lord will provide for you. That's the person that will provide for you, not that's tomorrow, right, not today, right, not that's himself, right, that's or right. anybody else. Um, that's right. Because he is our Adonai Jehovah, which means he is our Savior and there our Father. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes! You there you go. Went to hell and preach to the lost souls and snatched the keys of hell and death and rose with all power in his hands. Amen. Amen.